so five ingredient lightning black soap that is going to brighten your skin fade out every unwanted spot give you nice flawless skin tone Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is HBM Organic Beauty. So if today is your first time coming across my channel, you're welcome here on this channel. I do videos about skincare. I do product review. I do video about hands and I also train or coach you on how to make skincare products. So in case you want to learn how to make skincare products, you, you want to start off your skincare brand or you want to learn how to make effective and natural skincare products for yourself, please send a whatsapp message to the number you're seeing up there on the screen and i also sell my skincare product on my website at www.hbmorganicbeauty.com so yes i'm actually in my factory i want to do diy for you guys and please i have an update henceforth i will be making two practical videos here on this channel to diys every month most of the videos might be a sit down talk video lecturing you talking about ingredients or sharing other skincare ideas but practicals i can only be doing practicals twice every month which i feel it's not that bad but for those of you that have been asking if you can come for physical skincare class right now there's no physical physical skincare class but our skincare class is always ongoing just go to our website and you'll be able to connect to our skincare training or skincare class website and enroll once you enroll immediately you get your classes and you start viewing your classes so um today i want to make lightning black soap and i will actually be making this black soap with just five ingredients so if you know that uh you've been running away from black soap because normally there's a lot of ingredients in black soap okay that's how it's been formulated both the one you're being taught or the one you see on youtube videos yes we include a lot of ingredients that is because we want it to be moisturizing we also want it to have this healing and soothing calming effect on the skin you know it's black soap black soap is naturally alkaline in nature so the way you mix the black soap now determines the result you get on your skin but today I have actually come up with a recipe and I'm just combining five ingredients including the black soap so five ingredient lightning black soap that is going to brighten your skin fade out every unwanted spot give you a nice moisturized flawless skin tone and this black soap will not dry out your skin because it contains a lot of humectants that will help to attract moisture to your skin so watch this video to the end it's just going to be a quick diy and again we're having a free class guys after that working on this free class i'll be teaching you how to make hyper pigmentation face toner and i'll also be teaching you how to make uh brightening face wash and this class is for free i'm giving out real recipes so just check under this video you're watching right now go to the description box you're going to see that um telegram link that will lead you straight to that class so just go and join the the free skincare class right now i'm working on the videos very soon i will launch out the video the video is launching um i think next week yeah the class will be out next week so i bet you don't want to miss out on this after this set like if you after the set i'm going to monetize that video that means if you want to have access to that video you will pay so right now is for free so just go and join my telegram channel so that i'll be able to access these two classes for free you can sell the recipe and you can actually use them for yourself or you can include them to your brand as a new product so this is my black soap and uh, my black soap is already soft very very soft so what i do is that the way i soften my black soap most of the time i buy black soap in large quantity at times i get 400 uh four, 400 pieces and i just keep them so anytime i want to use them it would have softened already so that that's mostly the method i use i buy them ahead i buy them in large in bulk 
and I keep. So anytime I want to use, it's already so. So most of the time I just, you know, pour my ingredient and I mix and I'm done with my soap. So it, it makes it so simple like that. But if you're making your own and your soap is not as soft as this, you can equally mix everything in the mortar. So I just felt like instead of using mortar, since my soap is soft, I'll just go... Uh, go straight and mix in my soap into my bowl without pounding because the soap is already um, very very soft. So I just so I just added in uh, my soap. I'm going to be putting all the measurements on the screen. So here are my soap. This is my white soap and this is my black soap. So next I'll go in and add in um, my ingredients one after the other. So first of all. This is my tomato powder. This is actually called lycopene. This is actually like a bleaching agent, but it's actually a white tomato extract. So um, this is not um, a, an extract I processed myself. I actually got it like this in this form. So please uh, purchase from your raw material or ingredient seller and ask for white tomato powder. This is a whitening agent. Yeah, because tomato actually whitens the skin. It contains um, a main extract called called lycopene. So in here, this is actually the extract you get from the white tomato, which is called the lycopene, and that is why I am using this. Okay, so I'm going to add in my um, extract in here. So we are making this soap with just five ingredients, five potent ingredients. So here I have my beer berry extract. Now, my beer berry extract, this extract you're seeing here, actually um, contains arbutin and alanton. So this is going to help calm irritated skin and it's also a natural skin whitening active. It is also an antioxidant. So I carefully selected all those ingredients so that instead of you adding um like 10 10 different types of herbs and all that this ingredient is going to cover or do a lot on your skin so this is actually going to um lighten your skin and all at the same time is also going to help uh suit and calm irritated skin and help to keep this soap as mild like help keep it very very mild so uh, next i'm going to add in another ingredient and this is my kojic acid this kojic acid the ph range is up to seven okay so i'm adding in my kojic acid powder we all know what kojic acid powder does to the skin is a very good skin um brightening or skin lightening agent okay and next i have my vegetable glycerin okay if you don't have vegetable glycerin you can actually use propylene glycol so i'm adding in my vegetable glycerin i did not add honey i didn't add oil and all that um i added high amount of vegetable glycerin so that it will help to moisturize the skin and keep the skin supple you know without making the skin looking dry so i'm going to match remember my soap is already soft my soap is very very soft soft so um if your soap is not soft like i said initially please just pour everything in a mortar just the way i've poured everything in this bowl then you pound okay you pound it pound it till all the ingredients is well incorporated together so i'm going to match this so you guys should watch the video to the end because i still have other things i need to check out I cannot just use this soap like this so watch the video to the hand so this soap is going to brighten your skin it's going to lighten your skin this is actually a lightening um, black soap just with five ingredients it's going to um, moisturize your skin it will not dry out your skin because I added a lot of um, glycerin which is our umectant umectant are actually those ingredients that draws moisture to your skin keep your skin looking smooth and they don't make your skin you know dry out so you're going to mix very well and please our skincare class is always ongoing send a whatsapp message to the number you're seeing up on the screen 
so that you'll be able to you know enroll for the class that you want the cloud will be able to you know recommend a class that will be fit for you especially if you've never done any skincare class before so this um soap we're actually making here you can make for yourself your your family this is actually a fragrance free soap and i didn't have in um preservative i'm not adding in preservative because the truth is that soap is pre preserving like it's self preserving on their own and i didn't have in too much ingredients i didn't even had in all kind of different heads and all that then i will bother but i'm not bothering because i know that everything is still intact like this and um this soap is not going to stay for a long uh a longer period of time i think before you know it, I'm going to use this soap on myself and before you know it, it's finished already. So this is how the soap actually look like, okay? So you can see my soap is soft already. So to incorporate my soap is something that is very, very easy for me. So I'm going to move on to the next step. So next I'm going to check the, the pH of this soap and make sure that the pH is actually on seven you guys should have known how to balance ph by now because in most of my diys i am always showing you how you can actually balance the ph of your um product so what to do is that you're going to dissolve some into a cup then make a little paste because you can actually not dip your ph strip or ph meter into the stick paste and you know make some bladder with this with small distilled water and dipping your ph strip or your ph meter and so that it will read but just make sure that you arrive at ph 7 but here is my um, lactic acid i'm just dropping a little you just have to do this little by little so that you don't mess up your your soap the only thing this lactic acid we do in this soap is just to help to balance the ph it doesn't have any other effect on the soap because lactic acid is not potent at the ph of seven lactic acid acid is only potent at the ph of 3.5 to 4 okay so and one thing with adding lactic or citric acid into your soap the more you had the more your soap it loosens your soap so you have to be very very careful with the way you had you can see um my soap is loosening already you have to be careful with the way you had had your uh, acid into your soap when you're balancing the ph and something else you should take note is that this soap is actually not looking too dark right now because i did 50 50 of the white soap and the black soap but trust me by tomorrow or in in like six hours time it's going to be very very dark because that is how black soap is when you just finish making them they tend to look lighter have a lighter shade but after some days after some hours they become very very dark they go back to become that black soap you know them to be so i'm going to check the ph again i already checked the ph i'm going to show you guys the strip so that you're going to see um the the strip or probably i'll show you guys how i took the ph in case especially for those of you that are just coming across this video for the first time so i i had to pour in little water into the bowl this is the bowl i use in making the soap so i poured little water and just to make a paste or to make a soapy liquid so right here my soap is actually on ph7 the first one let me show you guys the first strip this is the first strip you can see this is green and this is blue but this is green and this is green okay so this is on ph7 this one the first one i did was actually on ph8 so you can see the lactic acid actually brought down the ph of the soap so this soap is actually ph balance and like i said do not mind the color right now because trust me in the next five hours or two hours this soap is going to go dark even more than the base soap 
itself um if you want to use the soap please always make sure you leave the soap on your skin for some time it will not irritate your skin because the ph is well balanced so make make sure that your skin is wet okay wet your skin this soap is actually moisturizing just because of the umectant i had it uh wet your skin when you wet your skin uh you massage this soap massage Mass if you want to see the lightning effect you have to leave it on your skin at least for like three to five minutes this is not going to irritate your skin remember we balance the ph the ph is well balanced so that your kojic acid your um um lycopene that is your uh tomato powder your beer berry powder which is which are lightning active they are going to work but if you just you know apply and wash off i'm not assuring you that's this soap is going to work so you can use this for your face you can use this for your body okay um, massage leave for five minutes then you wash off this soap lathers very very well and it's so moisturizing like even when you apply on skin it's very very moisturizing so this soap is going to brighten your skin glow your skin give you even skin tone it's going to exfoliate the skin because trust me it contains exfoliants the tomato powder exfoliates the skin Tomato powder is quite acidic, so it's, it will help to exfoliate dead skin cells off your skin, thereby giving you a glowing, brighter, shiny skin. So thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye.